tell you what we paid and how much we paid for it and what we're gonna sell it for. If you're watching live, Caitlin's gonna be dropping the links to everything because we pre-listed all. It's at jrvhome.com. I'm gonna move this because I feel like it's... Okay, scooch a little. Hold on, I'll scooch, but I can't scooch right now. <laughs> I mean, we're super cozy over here with the let's, thrift haul. Let's not cuddle on the thrift haul. Hold on. <laughs> it does, it's it's a lot of elbow movement though, so we gotta have room. I won't want to accidentally Is it called you. junk snuggling? <laughs> I spent like we're buying the junk and we're I was shopping. like, I can't recover from that. Okay, I can't. Let's just get started. It's already been a crazy night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Saturday night thrift haul here over at the Ray House. Okay, tell them all the things real Sorry, quick. Sorry, you're not used to starting us off. I don't. Be, I can do it, but it's better. If you it's do like it. out of the way. Well, I just pull it out. So, so. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through this back layer, and then Zeb's going to start with the painted stuff, and then I'll finish the thrift haul, because I know a lot of you guys, everybody's been saying, we miss when you guys painted a lot, so we're going to try to get to painting sooner, but man, sometimes we just don't have any room. Well, we've... I don't know if it's because of the situation or people don't have a good outlet or not as many people are thrifting right now, but like we've just been hitting huge amounts of honey holes. Like we can't pass that up, can't pass this up. The that's about is good. That's a dollar fifty. I'm taking that home. Yep. So. All right, so let's talk about the silver platter. I'll show you. It's got like it's a great buying detail. It's thick. It's thick alicious. It was three dollars. It does not have feet, and I can't remember. I have actually taken a nap since I priced that, so I really am gonna have to wait for Caitlin to drop the price on that. But I think it was like twenty dollars. I wouldn't swear to it. <laughs> it wouldn't be twenty. I would say maybe nineteen ninety five. Um, but <laughs> I'm just gonna look it up. I don't know what's going on. So just a heads up, because I don't think Jamie said it. If she did, I missed it. Um, so we're going to tell you what we bought for it in case your oh, fellow guess. thrifters are junkers. And then we'll tell you what we're going to sell it for. And if you'd like to purchase it, jrvhome.com. I said Keep that. You said that? Mm -hmm. I missed it. All of that. But I did not say, if you haven't given us a thumbs up and subscribe, go ahead and do that. And don't forget the notification bell. Yeah, because we do other things besides thrift. Okay. Do we? Do we Any do more things? stuff? Hold on. I'm looking for the link. Because... That's okay. We can show them two things at once. Okay. But just, I already hit myself with this. This a one's like blinding. Thing. That's like a mirror finish on that one. This one's not quite tarnished. It's silver plated. I'm reading the back of it. International Silver Company. Maybe that one didn't get listed because I'm only seeing. Did you not get a good picture of that one? The feet one. Okay, so that this one, one does have feet. Is twenty eight ninety five. Look at that. Maybe that's why Caitlin doesn't have it on there. Let me see if she found the listing. Yeah, twenty eight ninety five for that one, and I don't think this one got listed. So how much did I pay for that one? I think I paid like twelve. This one. This one was 10. 10, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and list this one for, what did I say, 1895? 1995. 1995, okay. That's Hold what on. we always say, 1990. So Jamie and I, when we go running and we see homes that need an update, we're like 1995 called and they want their brown house back. <laughs> Sorry, Probably guys. not nice of us, but it's what we do in the morning. <laughs> really talk about that i am sad when people stuck over brick but we have a house with stuck over brick we do that way when i got it sometimes yeah. that's the only way to save it okay, well ours I'm... is like plaster over brick it's not even textured it's like smooth okay i'm going to show you the soup terrain sheet are you adding that right now yeah i'm adding that that um was eight dollars caitlin thrifted it it does have a chip i don't know oh where is it where's On the, the bottom, little maybe? chip oh right here but to... we sell these for planters anyway, so yep. put this, one... this out on your front porch with some bulbs in it. It's this one time. has detail. Show them the knobby detail. Oh, yeah. The handle's good. Oh, I guess I should make it live. Sorry, guys. Zeb's trying to be fast, but... Well, I got to get stuff out of I my know. way so I can start painting. But I've got to get it finished. You guys, the collectibles tonight... I'm super excited about them. We'll get to them in a minute. You and can't they see them. They're down over they here. They aren't Hummels. They're not Hummels and they're awesome. Caitlin said, I don't know why I said my bad. I don't list the items. She was taking blame for it. All right, I listed that one. It was $3 without the, it was $19.95 and I paid $3 and this one without the feet. Okay, done. Whew. Robert says that's a gravy bowl. That is a gravy bowl. <laughs> that's a big old gravy bowl, Robert. Gravy? Is that, how, is that how they have it in Texas? Gravy for 12. <laughs> or one, don't be <laughs> 
all you're having, that's the main dish. That's just gravy. All right. So this, I can't, oh, there it is. It's $4. Usually we find these in sets. Um, and sometimes they'll be under the glass in the collectibles aisle. But this one was all off by itself, lonesome. Four bucks. What did you list this at? It's pretty tall. It's, it's taller than my hand, my arm here, at forearm measurement. Yeah, I think I put it on for nineteen ninety five. I'm gonna wait for Caitlin. So it's probably close to twenty inches, right around there. Normally, when I have a set of three, and this is the taller of the three, I sell them for fifty. So I sold that one for twenty because it's just the one. Just single by itself. Oh, Are yep. we painting this yes, tonight? Yes, that's in the sold. That's a paint pile. So put that right paint down. Paint pile, the right over here. And I already sold. And Kai says it's weapon grade. It is heavy. Anna says she can't wait to get her sheep. Whoop whoop. Yeah, is the so, sheep hiding back there? It's no, back he's, there. He's over there next he's to my. Peeking his head around your jam. My jam. I, it's not really my jam. Everybody worked on it. Like my dad did a little. I did a little. We have it. Bought the strawberries. We have it because you love the jam. Though. I do love strawberry like, jam. I would not have picked up that many strawberries. All right, so this is from my personal collection. This is the Arden I, Dairy. Sometimes you have to let things go. I actually just got a few new Crocs this week um, to decorate in the house, and so I'm letting this one go. This is the perfect size for like an indoor basil plant. And I think you I paid, did grow some basil I, in this. Yeah, for years we had basil in that. I'd buy the basil at the grocery store, and I'd throw it in there and clip it, and eventually it would die because I don't ever transplant anything. And then I would um, replace it. So. Anyways, it was $15, and I sold, I sold it for $22.95, and it looks like it's already sold. And Caitlin says, true, she was the deliverer. Apparently, the gal that was selling the strawberries um, was also selling some other fruits and vegetables, and Caitlin's like, are you interested? I was like, let's be honest. If you're not actually going to go get them, am I ever going to get around to picking them up? And Caitlin's like, touche. <laughs> and Caitlin was getting strawberries for herself, which is why she picks them up for me. She's good. She's All right. good like that. So, Caitlin, we're going to go through the Scott's collection right now. We have, I don't know, two or three, op three, four options. Oh, Patty bought the croc. That's some, like, JRV memorabilia. Yeah, you could see that. If you go watch the old thrift hauls from a, two years ago, I think we've been doing them for two years now. Yeah, I think and all over it, like, every Instagram photo. So, there, it'll be up there above the window in the kitchen in the windowsill. And sometimes it has stuff in it and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so these are back porch offering. We're not painting them. We're selling them as is. They're resin. Um, $22.95 for this set. They're a good gold or color. Or $19.95. Oops, sorry. I was, I was too high. So these ones are the small ones. Oh, There's okay. There's some bigger ones right there that I'll show them in a second. Okay, maybe I was. that's what I was thinking. They still might be, I don't know. I was pricing all willy-nilly because we were in a hurry and we were still a few minutes late. Are a hot decor item. We actually have some big Mama Jamma ones we're going to show you. So these are the bigger ones. These are more brass colored, also made out of a resin. So these. These have um, a hanger on the back. Do these not? They should. Oh, these have a claw hanger on yeah. the back of them. These, these were all on the back porch, but I would have probably paid upwards of like $6 a set for these just to give you an idea. And if I painted them, <coughs> I'd probably add another $6 or $8. They're really quick and easy to paint. So we're leaving these kind of the brass and gold color because brass and gold accents are hot. And if you want to paint it, we'll let that be your own discretion. But we're going to leave them as is because they're good. So those are twenty two ninety five. Those ones. That's these why ones. And yeah. then these ones are nineteen ninety five. Not a whole lot of difference. I just these ones have these ones had more girth and heft to them. So and I like the hook on the back. I'm like, yeah, that's. So a, I actually have to say, between the two, this one's more my favorite. This one's more your style. That one looks kind of like a lobster. No, I oh now I can't <laughs> now I can't unsee it. What, if it was painted, it would be fine. So Look at the beautiful the flowers like this. But I was like, it's like lobster. I don't know. It's fine. We had a lobster mold that we somebody left on our back porch, and Ivy wound up collect, taking it for her collection. Sometimes I do that. If, if people drop off stuff for free, and it's not something I'm, like, totally married to, and my employees want it, I'm like, yeah, take that home. Oh, the apothecary um, jar over there with the lid. Oh, I forgot to show Sorry, that. Sorry, you guys. A couple weeks ago, we had a few things that didn't make it on the live that sold because... I had them in the, in the, what's that called? Thing? No, the window lid, the window ledge. That's what it is. Cause we have really deep ledges. And so I use it to put breakables on before the haul. And so they didn't make it, but it was a really cool one. It was a cloche and it had a sail on it. And I never showed it to a sailboat. But anyways, okay, let's show this one. I found this. Oh, Ivy, I thought you took it. Oh no, it's there. What? 
the photograph that Ivy, I thought you were taking. All right, well, somebody else can enjoy the lobster. <laughs> it's already been put up, so I didn't know that there was a behind. She knows she must have not taken it. That behind so the funny. scenes deal. Well, if you want to get the, the lobster that Ivy loved, it's coming up. You'll All right. see it in a minute. So this is giant. It's big. I put in there giant oversized apothecary jar, and I wasn't kidding. Twenty nine ninety five for this big mama jamma, and we paid how much? Six bucks. Uh, yes, I believe. And you tore the sticker off to take no, a picture of it. Me. Oh, there it is. Six dollars. Oh, I thought it was Marie. a screaming deal. She's a new channel member. Marie Potts. Looks like she's been a member before. She's got a silver bird. Janae says she wants that jar. Looks like somebody already bought it. The thrift haul items go live right like a minute before we go live. In fact, they were not even finished until... 8:31 tonight. Yeah, it was like 8:31. I'm setting the video up for the picture. I think I took it at 8:33, and we finally went live about 8:35. <laughs> Thanks, Daisy, Mariah. Um, my sister-in-law, Zeb's brother's wife, is lives here now, and she's a stylist, and she cut my hair. She also um, put some caramel highlights in it, but she used the natural highlights that I already have and matched them to it, so it's not super noticeable, which I like. It looks like her summer color because she yeah. she lightens up in the summer. Um, I and I it. almost didn't recognize her because she was like thrifting all hardcore. And I'm like looking, I'm like, is that my wife? Because oh, I could only that. see the back of her head. And I'm like, I can't tell. I can't tell. It was me. It might help if I remembered what it's she was wearing, good. but when you have a wife that looks a little different, you know, it's like, oh, is that a new wife? I don't know. I like, I like. You like all the wives? No, I just like the Jamie wife. <laughs> I used to change my hair color a lot. About ten years ago, I stopped coloring my hair. I've literally colored it twice in ten years, eleven years, something like that. All right. If all you right. want some Americana, this Americana. is like a. I don't know. It's like it's a, a Dutch oven. It's a stoneware Dutch oh, oven. That's fancy. It was two dollars. Americana is something I'm definitely buying this time of year because coming into summer, people are starting to think about the good old red, white, and blue. And this is really great because not only is it red, white, and blue, but the subject matter, like stoneware, it's very Americana. So I love that. Kai says, "Is that my wife?" Um, and I sold it for sixteen ninety five for the Americana Dream. All right. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to get this out of the way. And then you can start painting. So that I can, well, maybe. Okay. I'm going to need like a painting towel. This, I don't know. I don't even know what you listed for. It's big. You can see it sitting so here in front I of me. I listed it for $59.95, I think. And I paid $20 for it. And I bought it at actually a boutique. Um, and it's ginormous and so cute. And I don't know if it ever actually had bird in it, but it doesn't have bird poop. So. Okay, there we go. That's how that works. So you could tin down. You could hold probably like oh, a real sold. a real bird in here if you wanted to. No, it looks legit. It's definitely like this is really um, hard, close together, well made hook. It sold for fifty nine ninety five. I never met a bird cage that I didn't like. In fact, if you're local, there's a ginormous bird cage for a really good deal in what we call the cage. In front of the bird shop. Bird cage in the cage. Bird cage in the cage. It's not oh, really a cage, but like in front of the shop, there's like this metal part. We put all these random things in it. Things that are like too big for the shop or I've ran out of room because I have a lot of junk. But if you're local, check out the cream bird cage in our cage because it's cute. So I'm going to show this up close. This is the tin that just took a dive. So you can see the detail on it. They gave it a paint job that you can't even tell that the that's paint job is got that detail on it. But and it's check an envelope out. style. Show them the side. Oh, yeah. So it's made like a bread pan. If anybody that makes bread will recognize that like envelope on the side. But so we're going to paint it. We're going to get, is this a paint tonight? Yes. And that was how much? It was $1.50. $1.50. Um, I think I put for like $12.95, $14.95. I can't remember. I'm waiting for Caitlin. But we're going we're gonna to make some magic happen with that detail. Make as, it pop out. As soon as that pops up, I'll let y'all know. Okay. So I'm, okay, I'm going to get rid of the these two things. Oh, $12.95. $12.95. $12.95. All right, guys. Well, I put gold, but Caitlin says it's platinum. It does look more platinum If it's platinum, me. it's a tarnished platinum a little bit because it's an older piece. It looks actually, it looks gold, but it's like, throws off like a, like a white gold. I don't know. But it's, so it's Bob Van Allen for Mikasa. Caitlin found it. She spent $5 on it, if I remember correctly. Um, and I've seen them sell upwards of $60 for his bowls. Freezer to oven to table. It's made in Japan. 
I would not put that in my oven because it's very much collectible. So it's platinum, it's the Coloration Saturn Bowl. There you go. Caitlin did way more research on it than I did. I just searched the bowl, but all of his bowls are. It's very cool. And $5 is correct. All right, Caitlin, what is the actual retail price? Because I think I put it in there for $26.95, but I can't remember. I can't remember. So if you guys are wondering like how I come up with prices, I will generally look up what things are selling for and come up with half to three quarters of what the regular sale price is. So that way it's a really good deal. So we look- It's $24.95, there we go. And I saw those about 50 to 60 bucks. So we look high to low and then usually do half of what the low price is. Cause you can get like a whole wide range of stuff out there on the internet. And like some of the stuff we're gonna show you tonight, I was finding for $150. And then some, some sites had it for 60 and most of our stuff's going to be at like 30 when we show it to you. All right. Who doesn't love a good oh, book welcome box? Welcome Cottonfields to channel membership. Sorry. Hey, welcome. All right. Book. Oh, I, oh, sorry. Nope. I was just talking about my book. Go to community tab. And if you scroll back, you'll see this month's printables. And that's where we notify you of our channel member lives. I believe that we already had our first channel member live of the month. So it'll be two weeks and then we'll do another channel member live. But the printables are still coming because that was actually February. Yeah, February's printables. printables are up and then you'll get marches here pretty quick. I got them on there like last day and I think we're supposed to do them like the second week or whatever, I don't know. All right, so how much do we pay for that? So I was a buyer on this book at $2. It's uh, got, oh, so this the is- not on the website. So this is, I'll show it to you anyway. You can see kind of the raised detail. I think it would be actually really cool with a fun paint job and some decoupage or something on there. It's kind of dark. It's kind oh, of a dark, moody book. You know what? I think I missed a few things. Well, did you know? Well, book. I'm going book. to. What are you going to call that book? Um, book thing? box. Book box. Yeah, because it's got. Are you going to paint it on the front? Are you painting it or not painting it? And then if you put it up there in your books like this, no one knows it's a box. It's a secret box. Shh. All right. How much? What are you, are you painting your secret box? Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Sure, we can say we can paint it. Okay, $14.95. You know what I think would really look cool is the sheep decoupage with the forest on here. Maybe we'll get to that tonight. How long have we been live? 17 minutes? I think I could get to that. Yeah, if I have stuff actually listed. That's what happens when you fall asleep when you're halfway listing and the phone falls on your face. Okay. All right. I think I almost got enough room. One more, two more sconces and then we'll do it. Okay, so this one's metal. It's a little bit smaller. It's like a brass color. I feel like it's sprayed on brass. I don't think it's real brass, but it's, it's cast. Let me see. It's awfully shiny. No, it's like brass that they sprayed something else. Like, look at the inside. Yeah. So, I'll show you close up here. We've got, I don't know, there's like four things of, uh, it was in a box on the back porch of uh, wall sconce candle holders. So that one's just by itself. Some of these that we showed earlier are sets. The sconce is $12.95 for that one. And Jan says she uses her book box with the TV remotes. And Yumiko, Ooh, that's Yumiko, Yumiko, I said that right? Yumiko. Um, got the silver tray with the legs to display her seashells. That's gonna be gorgeous. Nice. Share a picture in the group or message us um, with one because I'd love to see that. Okay, so this is the last one. This one is resin. This one's pretty big, but um, I actually probably my favorite one of all of them. Donna, you caught that? What? She's like, you, you listed a lot of things as things. I had a headache. I took a nap. Things got listed the way they got listed. You just call them things? There was a few words before thing. <laughs> uh, I'm tired, man. It's Saturday night. Live, it's Saturday night. All right, I'm not, I'm gonna double check that. So will you just keep going and see if Caitlin drops links? Um, I'm about to start painting, so you gotta keep going. Hold on, what? I have cleared my space. I mean, I could show them. All right, guys, I'm gonna come up close, like I like to do to show you the good detail. I'm gonna show you my favorite collectibles. And if you saw the thumbnail, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, good, you show the collectibles and I'll make sure all the things are listed. Cause these should be up, cause I did them. And if they're not, shame on me. So these are the Harbor Lights. Some of them were made in the 90s, some as late as 2000 by Younger and Associates, but they're, they've got their, their number, their limited runs. 
and I think most of them are right around $29.95. There's a couple that are more than that, and you'll see why they're huge and they're more desirable. But these are all really awesome lighthouses that are kind of like in popular points. But check out all that detail on that. Like, I, I just, I love them so much. Okay, so this is the, I'm gonna say Hague Point from South Carolina. It's that one. And I'm just gonna kind of go through them. If you go to the collection, you can hit the drop down and they'll all come up. Okay, this one is a little bit more, I think it's $39.95. This is Hillsboro Inlet, Florida. 4904 out of 6500 but that's a that's a big one i just i like them so much like i so i showed these to odelia and we geeked out over them for a minute my dad likes them too yeah your dad came and pushed right on up when i was still taking pictures and looked at them do i not have this one thing? but let's see this one What's there? Okay. disclaimer when we were unpackaging it this, I had to glue this one back on. It's very fragile. Um, just know that. But we're selling them. This, this is what I was talking about. Like some of these were 90 to $150 and we have them priced around 30. So I also um, love this one, Seven Foot Knoll, Maryland. Sally was asking about my sweater. So while you're doing that, so this is a small and if you're wearing it open, I would say it definitely like runs true to size, it's form fitting on the arms, but if you were gonna button it, then I would size up. I actually had Odelia try this on because um, Donna from Crescent Moon Cottage wanted to, and Donna is, let's just say she's equally proportioned to Odelia. <laughs> she was very honest with all her sizes. I was like, that's not me, that's Odelia. So Odelia tried it on and then we got the right size for Donna. But yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a small because I, I'm wearing it open, but if you were to button it, you might wanna size up. So this is Grand Traverse, Michigan, um, 4898 of 9500. So there's a little dog hiding out in the bushes up here. Hi, I did think of a name for my new face products. You'll have to wait. Today, something very sad happened in my face. We gave some neighbors some bunk beds that we didn't wind up using. And so instead of returning them to Ikea, we just gave them to a neighbor. And I hit myself with their back hat right here on my forehead. Seb's like, you paid a lot of money for that forehead. I'm like, I know. <laughs> this is Coxpur Island, Georgia, 5609. Um, it doesn't say of how many though. But anyway, if, oh, I don't know if you can pick it up. Really Look good. at the bricks in there. You can see all the individual bricks. Like these are just so crazy detailed. my favorite that look like water tower lighthouses. I'll show you, this one's my favorite. This oh, red that one. one's cool too. This red one here's my favorite. These are called Harbor Lights. Did you tell them that? I wasn't mm -hmm. paying attention because I was making sure. I also really love this one just because the contrast of like the kind of red, the rust red metal and then the stormy sea here. Um, and then it's got a little rowboat. Why are the sconces with all the flowers on? Oh, I, just, I wonder if she's talking about these. Maybe. Okay. Um, this one here is American Shoal, Florida. All right, I got a few more. I'll go. I'll go quicker. Zeph is very excited, so he's gonna show you all his lighthouses. <laughs> I'm good. You know, it's worth These seeing. Jane... Like, look at the rocks. Look at the rocks. <laughs> is that like a schoolhouse? Um, this is Charlotte, Genesee, in New York. Thirty-six oh one of ninety-five hundred looks like. Um, this one here is. Oh, I like that. Execution little... Rock, New York. Execution Rock? Yeah. Sounds it's probably a prison at one hardcore. point. Hardcore. It's got a little crane on the side of it. Like, yeah, are they working on the house? Cool. No, there's a ladder down in a boat. It's probably for loading things oh. up out of the boat on t up to here. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I don't know about execution, but all right. So these are the sconces. $49.95 for the pair of them. And they are rather large. I would say probably, what, 20 inches top to bottom? So... These are really cool. They are like creamy with a dark wax, but I think they would also be really beautiful finish like the sconces in our dining room with a little bit of salt wash, maybe a little gold on the tips. But I left them as is because I'm not really sure whoever buys them what their decor would be like and I'd hate to mess these up. And they do have little flowers and they have like little pokey things so you can put your tapers in them and they won't fall over. So these are really cool. Oh, super chat. 
1999 from Sally Bum's Lowell. Whoop, whoop, she says, that jam looks tasty. My dad already had oh, some. Oh, Sally. He said it was delicious. The jam is super tasty. It's like a year supply of jam. Kai says I should keep these. You know what? I would, except for I've got scouncils everywhere, so. All right. I've got five more, six more to show you. Okay. This is Cape Henlopen. Oh, I paid $3 each for this. In company. Delaware. And... There's been a bit of a storm sliding off the hill. This guy is actually holding the lighthouse up with his head. <laughs> yeah. So those sconces, not to interrupt your lighthouse. No, no, it's fine. Go time, ahead. Were three dollars each, which is a steal. And Zeb saw them and he's like, "Really? You like those?" And I'm like, oh, "Those are so French country. How dare you?" I'm like, "Well, grab the other one up on the shelf because there's two of them." <laughs> I thought there was only one, and Zeb scoped the other one, so that's why we have a pair. This is Macquarie NSW Australia. I don't remember what the NSW stands for, so where are my Australian people? Um, North, Southwest? No, I don't think. New shoes would be nice. <laughs> Maybe. All right, four more. Oh, Jennifer said that she was in the St. George DI today and she told the manager they need more help in the under the glass department. He said, do you mean the collectibles? You know what? The St. George collectibles, they do charge a little bit much for them. And yeah, they are a little bit slow there. Like it always takes me a million years to get checked in and a million years to get checked out there. But the American Fork DI, their collectibles, I'm like pew, 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 like a pinball because they always have a lot of really good stuff. And I actually don't mind that they charge a little bit more because if, if I go, I always find good stuff. So it makes it easy to see it. And they're super great about it. And then today we went to the Riverton DI and they hardly ever have anything under the glass and they always pick really weird stuff. So it's just funny like which thrift stores do different things. I knew it. Thank you, Debbie. New South Wells. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It's not new shoes would be nice. Um, so this one was Southwest Reef from Louisiana and this is Sandy Hook, New Jersey. So, and then two more, we're almost done. Um, Jeffrey's Hook, New York, lots of New York lighthouses. I like this one too. It's like a silo, but it's got a bridge attached too. Oh, Ivy, I'm super excited for Saratoga DI too because one of Eliza's besties lives over there, so I'm driving over there all the time. So this is Beavertail, Rhode Island. And this is the last one. And some a lot of these I think are really old. They're very, very detailed. Um, and they remind me of like a lot of the Norman Rockwell ones that I've seen, only these are a little bit more detailed. And some of them... Um, ranged anywhere from 75 to $200 originally. All right, I'll pull these out of the way and I'm gonna start painting while Jamie shows you the rest of the hole. All right, sweet. So let's talk about the bird jewelry holder. Bird jewelry holders are always really good. Somebody did spray paint this white, but they did a half decent job. Um, and it, I think it might've been white to begin with because look underneath. So I don't know why they decided to spray paint it. Maybe it was white underneath and not white right here, I don't know. But anyways, $2, and I believe I'm selling it for $16.95 if I remember correctly, but it's super cute. Oop, super chat. Jamie, can you find clothing in aqua or turquoise? I will look. We actually, I'm trying to think. I swear I just ha had something go up that was in those color schemes. Check the JRV closet. We just uploaded a ton of clothes, including this shirt that I have on and this sweater, um, but we just got boxes and boxes of clothes and shoes, so if you search new to old you should see all the new things and we even got some cute new plus size things in some sweaters a really pretty floral shirt that i swear it's teal but it's plus size only um so check those out oh and all of the clothes are free shipping all right um it's sunday afternoon in australia all right 19.95 for this one i love these and i'm never sad if they don't sell because i always use them in the shop but mostly they sell really fast anything with a bird on it Okay. Here, He's show. I'm setting up to paint. Okay. So show the blanket and the right. tins. It says Zeb the streaker. What did you do that was streaking? Oh, I went back behind and did a funny arm movement while oh. you were talking. I was like, Zeb streaking? Nobody told me. There was, I was fully clothed. Oh, there's bunnies over on that bench. Oh, we forgot to show the bunnies. Sorry. Well, the Easter is coming, and these do have the good crazing on them. So I paid $2 for this quilt. It's a baby quilt and I bought it because my niece Desiree had one just like it. 
I'm selling it for $14.95. It's got these cute little bonnet um, kids on it. Looks like a little boy and a little girl, or I don't even know. And then um, cute little pink flowers. It does have a stain on it, which I think if you soaked it in OxyClean, it would come out. I did not soak it. It's right there. Can you guys see it? Oh, can you see it? Oh, the rugs are I took there, a picture. haphazard. <laughs> I took a picture of the stain and put it in the listing. But anyways, super cute um, and $14.95. And then on the back, it's like this really fun, bright yellow and white. I love vintage quilts. What colors do you think I Hey, need? Les. Are, there other, are the other thrift stores in Utah not as cheap as DIs? Um, it just depends. DI is probably the best organized one. Like, everybody that goes is like, holy Batman. It's organized. We don't have any good clothes. It's the same. Clothes. It's yeah. the same in like every Every one. DI is going to look very similar. Um, Goodwill is not close. I do do, I do do. I do Sabres quite a bit. I feel like their home decor is a little bit expensive, but their furniture is cheaper. But I usually have a 20% off coupon because I donate a lot to Sabres because they give me a 20% off coupon. So just kind of depends. All right, we're going to go a little springy. Diane um, says, why would you charge when you paid a lot less why would you charge more because that's how you make money yeah and we usually do stuff to them and a lot of these require heavy scrubbing um you know we got like, wait them. a second we got to list them in the shop you know we we go thrifting and find stuff and repurpose it all right so let's talk about to watch and see the repurposing happening can i tell you how much i paid because I like to be honest and upfront, and I like to help other people know what they can buy and sell things for. Because some people are here to shop, but some think people are here to get ideas, and I like that too. So I paid a dollar each for these bunnies. They're really cute. Springtime is the right time. And these are gonna be cute far past Easter. I have bunnies all over. I actually think we have a bunny, one bunny up on my shelf up there, one bunny by the front door. Um, and I paid, so $3 total for these and $12.95 is how much I sold for the set. And I thought about painting them, but I thought the flowers were so cute that I kept them. And they do have crazing all over them, even though they're not that old. That's just kind of the look for these three. I'm going to okay. leave the inside. We can't help it with the tins today. Uh, I'm going to leave the inside black. I just, I like it and it's a nice neutral and, you know, someone's probably going to plant in this or put keys or something in it by their front door so so this is a cute little stoneware salt and pepper shaker and i set, spent one dollar on them and i'm going to sell them for 9.95 for the set they've just got like this cobalty blue stripe on the bottom it's just a really simple um design i really like it's very farmhouse okay you can already see the detail a lot better just with one coat of apothecary i'll show you guys in just a second up close here's a oh you, you already showed this one didn't you I have not showed the fish. Okay, so here's a fish tin. It's copper. Somebody painted it copper, but judging by the inside, it is older. So I'm not sure what the original finish was on it, but it was really, really interesting. Um, and I paid $1.50 for it. And I think I sold it for $8.95. I'm waiting for the link there. Well, I'm waiting on that. Oh, I can't, I can't get the light good. And if you're wondering why I never know what it's selling for, it's because I don't have a very good memory. Okay, I'm going to set this over here to let it dry for a little bit. We might do a second coat on that. Um, I think this is going to be an apothecary aviary mix because I'm not going to clean out my brush. And then I think everything's going to get a fun white wax because it's spring, light, airy, and... This aviary is it's a little dark. It's light and over here. Yeah, hey, it was 68 degrees today while I was driving around, and I was okay, I was sweating. Right. <laughs> 9.95. There we go. I know we'll probably have it's it's early March, so we'll probably have some real cold rains or even one or two more little snowstorms before we're all the way out of winter, but. I'm going to take 68 degrees to the bank all day long. Oh, Leah said she bought these two tins. Are these the ones you bought? We weren't planning on painting these, but this, I don't know if it said that in the listing. So here's the lobster I thought I took. I did took. not say we're painting it. Um, and then this is like some fancy grapes situations, both like a copper color. I would say borderline rose gold copper color situation. Um, Zeb, did you say apothecary? You're using apiary. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, $14.95 for the set of these. Wait for it. 
Hold on. She must not have meant this because I don't think these were sold. She bought the um, tins. There's some. There's a lot of tins that match. There's these two tins here. Did you oh. say we're painting these? Is I it these shown tins? Those yet. So these were a dollar fifty each for these cute little tins. Maybe it was these. All right, let's put these. All right, guys. Now. If you guys want to see, here, I'll take you on a little field trip. I won't take you on a field trip. I'm just going to move it so you can see kind of what the copper tins look like in decor because I use them all the time. So I have my copper mugs up there. And then there's my stack of copper. Like I made like a little tower and on the bottom is like an antique copper with some newer ones. And then I have a copper lamb. So I kind of like the mix of the two. I've been, somebody said they've been to high dollar antique stores and their linens have stains. Oh, absolutely. All the time. I buy lots of quilts that are tattered and stained. All right, let's see. Okay, so I got a little blend down there on the base. I'm just, okay, small wall tins. Who was it that said that they bought? Take the tag off the top. Yeah, we'll get her. Shelly's telling you what to do. Somebody well, I appreciate all the assists because, you know, I get busy, we're talking, we're looking at chat, we're trying to remember pricing, and sometimes there's a thousand, let's see, it was 866 people on right now watching, and they're all chatting and trying to say stuff, so. Leah, are these the tins you bought that I said appreciate don't be painted? It. Let me know. They were $12.95, I think, for the pair. I can't even remember now. Oh, $16.95. And I paid $1.50 each. So I'll set these aside. All right. So I went with the uh, DIY Insider to do this because it's just tons of detail. The other one was like a big, big flat surface. Where is... And this has just got lots of little nooks and crannies, and it's getting it. Do you remember how much you priced this cute little hermetic jar out? This I want to say six ninety five, five ninety five, somewhere in that range. Leah said yes, and we don't have crannies. All right, Leah, I'm gonna set these aside. Thank you. Somebody said they want blue, but I don't know on what, and I don't know. Um, we might have. We don't have blue. I think we have some. All right, Holly, I'll Holly look. is what Deborah I'll says. I'll look and see if we have some blue. Oh, I'm gonna bring that camera down a little so you guys can see more of the table. Okay. There's a mirror over here on the side. Do we need to show oh, that? Oh, 595. No, we're getting there. All right. I'm going to focus. If I miss your comments, just know that I'm tired and I'm having a hard time. <laughs> having a hard time being all over the place. It's weird when you're painting. It's like it totally throws me off. That I'm painting and you're not? Yeah, we I'm... usually paint together at the end. All right. This is heavy. This is 24% lead crystal. It is gorgeous. I paid... Twelve dollars for it, and I ran my fingers around all the edges to make sure there wasn't chips. And one of the things I love about lead crystal is it is so heavy duty. It's nice and thick, and it just really holds up to the test of time. Because glass, I feel like chips a lot easier. I had a lead crystal base in the back of my expedition for like I don't know it was two like months, rolling around. and it was rolling around. And when I finally pulled it out and took a picture and put it on the thrift haul, still no chips. That's so. Fine. I love this one also because it's square and I'm selling it for $59.95. I saw these anywhere from $100 to $200. So I want, thought $59.95 was a good price. I wanted to price it high enough that we could make sure that we put plenty of packaging so it arrives alive. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do a little more aviary on the bottom just because I spilled some and I want it to stay darker down here. Well, I didn't spill some. I guess it, we could call it a drip. Yeah, it's not often you see a square plate. And that was on a bottom shelf. I had to squat to get it. Okay, so I paid $2 for this dome. Anytime I see a lone dome, <laughs> I lone always dome. pick it up because you can put these on top of just regular plates. Tell them what we're doing with that. Oh, we're going to measure the bottom of this and then we're going to make some circles because we are going to, we're coming out with different Woods products. And one of the Woods products is pedestals with circles that you can make into cake plates. This is a really common size, so we're gonna make sure one of our circles is this size. So that way, if you guys find these thrifting, you'll be able to use our pedestals and rounds to make your own We find plates. like one or two every week, pretty much, at our thrift stores. All right, so you can kind of see a little darker on the bottom. So we got aviary on the bottom, blended up, not a super heavy blend. It pretty much went all apothecary. 
And this was um, $2, and I'm going to sell for $12.95. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set that one aside. I've got my book. Um, you know what? Let me go. I'm going to decoupage the book, so I think I'm going to go white with the book um, so good. that it shows up good. This was an item that said uh, thing because I wasn't sure what to call it. So it's kind of like a topiary. It does have a crack in it. It's got some age and texture. Um, I don't know. I think it's resin on the bottom. And then it's got like this cage and then some green apples with a little knobby do on top. And I thought it was really, really cute. So it's an apple topiary thing situation. <laughs> Does that dome fit the cake stand? Um, it could go on the cake stand. The, the one with the square? It's a square cake stand, so. I don't know if you guys are catching the pretty much one coat coverage yeah. on those other two pieces. The white, this is beadboard. Oh no, this is white swan. I might have to do two coats, but I'm gonna decoupage over it, so we'll see. Oh, somebody wants to buy the book box untouched. Well, oh, well. That's Help, it's, it's already got painted. All right, sorry, I didn't see the comment, but let me tell you this. If you still want it, you'll have to check it out when we're done. I think you might like it. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a cool thing to it. That's the thing with Unless, Saturday Night Thrift Hauls. They happen live. Yep, it's live right now, happening as you watch. Caitlin, did you drop the link to this one on here? I don't think you did. So it's $2 and I'm waiting on the link. I think Caitlin's been answering a bunch of other questions, so. Jean is on here. Woo woo. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, Jean works for us at the shop. She's pretty much runs the front end of the shop all on her own. And Jamie every now and then comes in and says, hey, can you find a place for this? <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna pull up pricing and then I'll be able to move a little bit faster here. Sorry guys. All right, <laughs> the exact name of this is Apple Wire Cloche thing, and it's $14.95 for this thing. So if you need comments, you're gonna have to wait a minute because I'm gonna pull away from comments so that I can get all these done. Okay, so what did you call this, Seb? A wall scots. Wall scots. Tin, press tin, this wall scots. This uh, is it resin? Yeah. Well, then we're gonna have to change that. Decorative wall scots is what you called I it. I wasn't holding it in my hand when I did it. When I was it's all right. It. It's okay. We'll forgive you. Nobody bought it yet. So decorative wall scones. We're not going to paint it, and it's nine ninety five. These are really pretty when you paint them in like apothecary and white wax or weathered wood and white wax. We did a lot of these last week, and they turned out amazing. All right. Next on the list is these set of three wall. It's cast iron. I would call these wall decor. The center is cast iron. So I actually almost think that you could use these like trivets because the center is cast iron. Oh, they got some paint splatter on them. We'll have to run is them out. Is that from me? Answer. Oh, that's probably it. <laughs> then it'll come off with a damp rag. But the center is cast iron on you so you can hang them on the wall. They do have the backs and I'm selling the set of them for $39.95. And they could be painted, but they're also cool as is. And I paid $4 each for them. And they're really heavy. All right, I'm gonna go, set them down here. And go grab the heat gun so that I can get that dry. Okay, next is, doo -doo -doo. Let's, see if I, let's see if I can find this. Oh, I once tried printing out the stuff that made myself even more confused. I don't think this one is listed, so we're just gonna hide that for a second. Tin sign will be painted. This one is $19.95 and I paid $2 for it. We're gonna paint this and put a transfer on this one. Tanea did one this week that I shared um, in community. So go back and look at it. It was a tin like this, but square. And it was apothecary with white wax around the edge and a transfer in the middle and it turned out just gorgeous. Can you guys still hear Jamie okay with the heat gun on? I think the neighbors next door could hear me. All right, next we're gonna move on to the resin mold, that's over here. Resin ornate wall decor. It is already white and it was $2 and we're gonna sell it for $12.95. And somebody must have had it on the wall already because they had some of the 3M hooks on the back. Oh, so if you saw our video a from a week ago, I was like, hey, let's see if one 3M hook can hold the wreath up. It cannot. 
It did not. It probably could if it wasn't like the, the door was If it wasn't, wasn't outside slammed. and the door moved, yeah. Yeah, the door gets slammed by small humans all the time. So this is just one brass bookend. And the reason why I bought it is because last week I found just one brass bookend that go. I didn't buy and it was the same one. And I could have had a pair. So $8.95 and I paid $2 for it and it's got some really great patina. So maybe you'll find this one a mate or maybe it'll just hang out on your shelf. It's nice and heavy. Okay, Deb, did, where did you list this one? Did you list this with the lighthouses? Oh, I don't think I actually listed that. I didn't okay, get a well picture then. of it because I was doing the lighthouses when you mentioned it. We're gonna put this one You're gonna here. save that for next week. It never happened. Okay. If you really want it, I guess you could email Caitlin, but just wait for next week, it'll be around. Yeah, if you ever have questions, you can email um, customercare at jamierayvintage.com. All right, so this is cast iron. Are these cast irons, Deb? I know this base is, but what's... The... This is just tin. So these are tin, but this base is like weapon grade cast iron situation. The price tag is gone. I don't know. That was in the pile of stuff we got. We didn't thrift that. Are you no, Are you sure? No, I thrifted this today. Oh, I don't know then. Three bucks? Three, we're going to say three bucks because I'm not really sure. That's what I would have paid for it. All Maybe right. up to four. Maybe up to four. All right, um, and sometimes I, they like make up a price as they go along. Twelve ninety five is how much I'm selling it for. It's got this fleur de lis detail on it. It's kind of heavy. You could use it to like work out because it's probably I don't know four pounds, five pounds. Okay, Caitlin thrifted this. It was five dollars. It's got a wood base, metal bolt, metal middle, and a cloth foam top. With a little ribbon and a metal top on this situation and it does come off so it'll probably ship like that i wonder if oh look at this christy's gonna be so happy oh does it all come apart yes super handy when stuff comes apart for to shipping ship it. let me see if i can find this one doo, 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 doo. all right so i painted the book white it was a little dark and drab um if that's your decor style Paint it black, back black if you get it, if you want. But I'm gonna put some decoupage on here that's kind of a darker decoupage, and the light will, the light paint, the white color will bring that, will make it pop a little more and make it more vibrant. If you do a dark color under your decoupage, the paper is so thin it's gonna pick up that color underneath. I was like, did I not list this too? No, I did. It's $29.95 and it already sold. I'm gonna put the lid on these. So, it comes apart. These are drying, the candlesticks over here are drying. I, they're kind of off camera. Maybe I'll scooch it over so you can see. Oh, Leslie says, buy yourself a milkshake. Super chat, I will. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Is that Leslie Johnson? It is Leslie Johnson. I think Leslie Johnson was asking a question the other day about being able to retail the wood stuff. And I answered, but I don't know if she saw it on YouTube because we do. We have 150 retailers. I thrifted these. And I'm not gonna sell them, but they were $5 each and they're perfect for mixing up milk paint. So if you guys like to use milk paint, definitely check your thrift stores for these because they sell for about 20 to $40 um, at your local like home goods store or on Amazon, but five bucks is a really great deal. And then I don't feel so bad using milk paint. Okay hey guys, decoupage paper. Man, not winning around that corner over there today. This is the one I'm gonna do. It's called Dan Le Foray, I believe. It's how you say that. If I messed up the French, I'm sorry. But it's basically sheep in the forest is what that stands for. Oh, I knew somebody needed this. Patty said she bought the duck to go with her loan duck bookend. Oh, awesome. See, I almost passed it up and I was like, you know what? I, I see, I'm not, I mean, I know this is a little sappy, but I was like, somebody needs just one duck, so I'm just going to get it, even though last week I passed it up, and you need <laughs> it. It makes me happy when Jump finds a hole in it. Okay. Um, this clock I paid $5 for, and I'm going to sell it for $19.95, and it does have a scratch on the face, and I showed a picture of that in the listing, um, and it looks like it's like a super solid piece, so nice and heavy, and it would look really cute on a mantle. Hey, do we have any liquid patina? Um, we decoupaged recently, so we should. <laughs> I thought you did those at the shop, though. Les says, it's a shame to cut that decoupage paper up. It should be framed. Well, Les, I'm glad that you mentioned that. 
I found this picture. We find old canvases at the thrift stores in like busted up frames and stuff and we buy them and we put these decoupage papers on the canvas. And this So this one, one's near and dear to me because I I watercolored that by hand. Oh, you. I thought you meant this like this particular piece. No, this, the, yes, Zeb, the paper itself. This piece of decoupage paper, Zeb painstakingly digitally watercolored each and every flower because a lot of the um, pieces that we have, or like that we put into our decoupage paper are individual elements that we bought the commercial rights to, but they're old, so they come black and white, and so we have to colorize them. So he put this one here. This decoupage paper is called Petalas, and this already sold for $26.95. And it was just a wooden framed canvas and we painted it white and then we decoupaged the patellas on there. So I'm using, I couldn't find the liquid patina. I like it because it's a little thicker. I'm using uh, Big Top as my decoupage medium. It'll work, it'll work good. So my sweater is for sale. I'll, Caitlin can drop a link. She also said she lied. I don't know what she lied about. I'll have to read that again. Um, but yes, we have it in regular, like small to extra large in this color. And then we have it in plus size and I can't remember what color it comes in plus size. When I ordered it, I couldn't get the same color small to 3X, so I ordered two different colors. Oh, oh, it's not sold yet. It did not sell. Okay, so $26.95 is how much this is. And the canvas was free because Sue brought it over to us. Oh, awesome. Thank you, um, Sue. But $26.95 for this one. And it is an old vintage, like, stapled on canvas. You can kind of see the age of it by the color on the back. Jamie, what finish do I put on my molds that I painted with DIY paint? Um, so I would use Kills Clear if it's going outside. All right, this is a cute little pedestal candlestick that was also on the back porch. I probably would have paid upwards of like a dollar for it. Did you know that there's paint on it? That? No. Did I paint it? I don't think you did. Hold on, where's the water? Bottle? It must have been DIY paint because it wiped right off. It wasn't sealed. Okay. Oh, the website has four colors for the sweater. Well, there you go. I thought I only bought it in two, but Christy's the one that put it up. She knows better than me. Okay. So this one, I would have paid up to like $2 and it sold for $4.95. It's funny because Zeb didn't pay attention to how big it was when he listed it. He's like, oh, I need to lower that price. But it's really, really <laughs> cute. All right, baskets. I love baskets. Zeb picked this one. It was 50 cents. It's not super big, but definitely big enough for going and collecting eggs from your coop. And it's got like that plasticky paint finish on it, but it is a metal wire basket. And I'm going to sell it for, I'm gonna go back into the listings here because it's gonna take me a hot minute to get through these. Um, I, I really think it was inexpensive. Oh, $6.95, there we go. $6.95 for this basket. Okay, and then there is this next one. This is a square wire basket, it already sold and I paid a dollar for it, and I sold it for $9.95. And this one has chicken wire on it. Also a good egg basket, but you'd have to use your fingers to hold it because it doesn't have a handle like this one. I probably should use a bigger brush on this, but this is the only one I could find that was clean for the, the liquid patina. All right. Or the big top. Mugs. Mugs coming. We I... had a big thrift haul. I called this like a mega haul 2021. <laughs> oh, we have butter print Pyrex coming up, guys. Like, it was good. Okay, so these I paid 75 cents for. They're um, retro corning stoneware, and it's got that like rosy pink stripe with the light blue. Really cute set of six, and they are $18.95 for all six, and I paid 75 cents each. All right. I may heat gun this because I need it to dry. Normally you use your long arms to grab stuff, so I'm having to... You're having to run all over the place? It's all right. Show them some stuff up close every now and then. Okay, sorry, Zeb's much better at this. All right, this is a little wee baby cloche. It was a dollar. It's a nice thick glass, and I never met... Oh, let me see if that... There we go. I never met a cloche that I didn't buy unless it was broken, because I love, love, love cloches. Let's see if I can find this one on here. Is it not on here? Sorry guys. No more sleeping while you're in the middle no, of pricing the thrift haul. <laughs> so uh, $8.95 for this one and I paid a dollar and it's sold. And it is nice thick glass. 
One of the things you're looking for when you're buying cloches, and it's not that I won't buy one that's not thick glass, but if you find one that does have that, that's even better because the thinner the glass, the more likely it is to break, especially if your kid does this to it. Not that my kids would ever do that. No, not our kids. <laughs> Never. So these are actually new old stock because they have stickers on them and they are camp mugs. So like the red enamel speckled and I paid 75 cents for them and I'm like 99% sure that I sold them for $9.95 or I'm going to sell them. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yes, here we go. I'm losing some of my, my paper on here. These are really cute with Americana. So if you saw that little Dutch oven that we showed earlier, this is the time of year that I'm really starting to collect the red, the blue, and white, if I can find it, campy enamel, because I love to get a display together and then stage it with some American flags with a little bunting. It makes a really great display. So if you guys have booths and you are looking for things to come up for summer, definitely Americana, and also start buying lemons now, because lemons are perfect for summer, and, oh, and watermelons. Lemons and watermelons. And lemons and watermelons. All right. Stars, if you find star-shaped stuff. So these are brass platters. These, some people like them the way they are, but I actually think they're super cute, painted with wax. It transforms them into like a French country type style, but these are brass, this is where $1.50 each, and these actually were on the back porch. I think that Marlene bought them and dropped them off. And we're selling them as a set for $19.95, am I right? Deb, do you remember? Right? Am I right? Am I right? I think 1995. You think 1995? Let's see. Press tin plates. Wait for it. 1995. And if you guys are thrifters like me, these are really found quite. I often. think they're actually brass. I put tin on the listing, but yeah, I think but they brass. are actually brass. Yeah. 1995. All right. Let's see what we've got question-wise. I keep leaning up and putting my belly over the counter. It's not very attractive. Which. I'll show you guys this up close like I like to do here in just a second. If you saw me going with the brush, I, had, I loaded up a little extra big top on the edges and just kind of went until the paper was fully saturated and it tore really easy. You could cut it to fit if you want, but I kind of like the organic torn look because I'm probably going to sand this a little bit. I might not because it's a pretty detailed print, but it's... Uh, I mean, you could do this to any book. It doesn't have to be a book box. If you got like an old book with a cover all crusty and it, or maybe even a new book, you know what? You could make a new book look old doing this. That would be a good idea. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I, I like turn around and don't pay attention for a minute and then you're creating masterpieces. I love that. I designed, this is the paper that I designed. I spent a lot of time layering on different elements to it. And you guys know I love sheep, so. It's fun to see it. And this is definitely one of the decoupage papers that I would do white paint underneath because the print is kind of dark. And so you'll get a much brighter image if you use a white paint underneath your decoupage paper. If you want more. Them. What? It's okay. It's like you're in my head. The people just joining in can also hear too. To recap. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this up here. Um, thrift haul still going. We still got some stuff, but I'm also going to show you what a little distress in white wax does to these because they have lots of detail on them and they're about dry over here just in the 15 minutes it's taken me to paint and decoupage oh. this book. Maybe Diane brought those. Sorry, Jean told me. She's usually here when people drop stuff off. Yeah, Jean so knows this is all Pyrex. the people who bring the stuff. Has, this says Pyrex 8 and Pyrex 16 and this is Amish butter print. I actually saw, and I put that these were like average, I think, condition. They're not scratched or dishwasher dried. This one is a little bit more faded than this one, but both in really great condition. Um, I saw them upwards of $400 for a set of four of these, but somewhat as low as like 150. This is the larger ball that comes in the set of four, and it's a really hard um, to find print, and I'm selling it for $69.95 for the set of two. So it's still a little tacky but check out the book. Donna says she loves that print. Yeah, this by far, like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I am not a huge Pyrex fan, but if I collected Pyrex, it would be this fan, this uh, print because it matches my KitchenAid mixer. So I'm gonna sand this a little bit. I'll go get a little piece of sandpaper. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit more. It's, I, I heat gunned it, but it's still, it's like cool to the touch, it's tacky. So now that it's pretty much on there, I'm gonna let that go. 
um, dry for a bit and work on these other ones. So this is a print I've never seen before and I actually saw quite a bit of this. Um, it's, gosh, now I can't remember the name. Um, but Caitlin is probably gonna drop it down and then I'll know what the name of the brand is. But the way that I searched it, I get this question a lot. If you don't know what something is, how do you search it to find out what it is? So I kind of worked my way backwards for this. I flipped that? it over and it has an F in a shield. And then it's milk glass with a blue floral print. So I searched in the search bar, F in a shield, literally exactly the way I saw it on the bottom, milk glass, blue floral. And then I was able to find out, sorry, Caitlin dropped it so good, that it was a federal glass bowl. Because some things will say Pyrex or whatever on the bottom, but this doesn't say, it just says two and a half, so it's two and a half quarts and it had an F in a shield. So when you're looking for things, find any kind of markings, even if they don't make sense, and describe them in your Google search bar as good as possible, and generally they will pop up. So it's because when people are listing things, they'll list all the random things about it in their tags and metadata. And so when you search for it, um, when you Google it, it will generally pop up what it actually is. And I'm going to sell this for $14.95. So oh, I gotta hurry and wrap this up. We've been on an hour. I, well, I'm still showing stuff. <clears throat> it was a big thrift haul. Well, some of it was a thrift haul. Some of it I bought over time. So this I see? thought was crystal because it's really, really heavy, but it's not. And the reason why I was able to figure that out is because I looked for a seam. And it's, it's a really well hidden seam. And they seam, did a really good job on but it. Th there's this part that comes up this way, and then there's a middle of the, where it looks like cut glass coming up, and that's where the seam is on this. And it's got flowers. It's really pretty. I paid $2 for it. And I'm going to sell it for $9.95. But it is heavy. So it's not like a thin, cheap glass, even though it's not actual crystal. It's a really good likeness. Crystal likeness? <laughs> it's, faux, it's faux crystal. Faux crystal. It's kind of like faux leather. All right. I'll show you guys this before I white wax it real quick. I'm just damp paper towel here. You can use a rag if you've got one handy. Um, the paint still, it's, it's still cool to the touch, meaning it's probably still a little damp. Um, when your piece doesn't feel cool, especially in the summertime, you can, that's how you know. Like, oh, it's all warmed up and good, because it's like putting water on something. You get the breeze going, it'll cool it off like evaporative cooling. All right, next. Um, how much did you pay for this? Because I did not get price. Oh, $1.50. Yeah, I was going to say $1.50. $1.50, old wash stand says so, the federal washboard company. Let me show those because it's pretty worn here. Someone really used this, um, but I really liked the light red um, print on the back there. You can kind of see it picking up. But <laughs> I just I just like the age and the wear on it. I listed it as a PEFA stool. A what? Okay, PEFA stool. So if you need a, that pedestal. So if you need a PEFA stool, it's like, a, it, well, I wasn't, I didn't, it wasn't a mistake, Caitlin. It's what you call almost crystal. Just kidding. <laughs> um, we sold this for $12.95. So if you like it like this, you could just leave it just like this. Um, I'm going to white wax it to uh, give it kind of a brighter, airier look. Um, if you want to, if you want that French country feel to all of your farmhouse stuff, put some white wax on it. All right, so I paid $5 for this clock and I'm selling for $14.95. It's not like solid copper, but it's metal with a copper finish on it. And it's just a really simple look and I thought it was really pretty. I don't know how old it is. I don't think it's super old, but it is cute. And this is, this is DIY wax. If you've ever used it, it's super soft and creamy, goes on really easy. We usually wipe it right back off with the excess. If you want a little bit better finish, you can wipe it off in about 15, 20 minutes and then give it a good buff. And you can actually get like, a, I would say probably pretty close to a uh, um, semi-gloss sheen on it if you really buff it well. Audrey, the small cloche is bigger than this. I did try that at the store. I was reading comments there. Okay, Leslie says she bought that clock for her new house. Oh, it's gonna be super cute in there. All right, so this is a pink box, and this was, I think, from Diane, too. That's what Jean was saying, that that big apple crate was Diane's. Oh. How much did you mark this for? Do you remember? 
I think it's like eleven ninety five or something like that. Ten ninety five. Ten ninety five. And it sold. Did you mark that we were gonna paint it or as is? I just left it as is. Okay, so if you bought this, it's as is. But I think it'd be super cute with white wax because yeah, it, it had a unfinished. decent paint job on it. I didn't think it was in bad shape. It just yeah. needed, you know, might need a little distress when you get it to your house. So cute. I like the applique on the front of it. All right. Apothecary white wax is Christine's favorite. Did I get everything? You know, we used to apothecary okay. white wax just about every piece of accent decor we put in our house. We've been leaning a little more towards uh, like the aviary because Jamie's got her fun aviary color door over there in the corner, but it goes really well with the white background on our walls. I just jump around with stuff. That's why I have lots of white so I can do whatever I want. All right, so $3 and it's a wall hanging thing, looks like a locker, and it's $14.95. All right, I just put it on there. This is decor, so I don't need to let it sit like a dresser. I'd probably let it sit, like I said, about 15 minutes, and then wipe back the excess. And then I'd let it sit overnight for a day, and then I'd buff it really good and probably do another coat, do that twice oh. at least. If it was like a dresser or like a coffee table or something. Um, but on decor, we just wax it once, buff it right back off, and leave it. Because it's more for like the accent um, with the white wax. And you could clear wax too. If you get too much on, it's something we haven't done in a little while, and we get a lot of questions about it. If you get too much white wax or dark wax even where you don't want it, you can come in with some clear wax, and it almost works almost like a magic eraser. You can kind of push it out of there, and the clear wax will soften it back up, and you can get it off. All right, good thing you remind me, Caitlin. I have more stuff. This is a big wreath holder. It's $19.95, and I got it from a friend. She gave it to me to sell. And this top part comes off, so that way it makes it just a little bit shorter. It's got like a wing nut on the back. And then I think this is something else that I call thing. It's like this. <laughs> this is a thing metal also. Metal and wood thing with a whatever that is. I don't know, like crate on the bottom. It's all chippy and old and delicious. Look at that white wax picking up that detail for you there. Before, I feel like all this detail, because it's really ornate, got lost um, before we painted it, because it was just dark. You didn't really see it. These were $2 each, and my niece, I guess, in law, she's Caitlin's cousin from the other side, but she's been family forever. She works with me now. And she bought these for two dollars each the bottom is like a white stoneware crock and then they've got a copper lid with a brass finial and it's um aluminum with copper over the top so not solid copper on these oh those are cool oh not too shabby patty says i like that great thing <laughs> metal and wood wall decor thing with basket that's what i called it and i sold it for 16.95 it is very very french country Oh man, that's a good idea to do with like old leftover shutters or something. Hi, Kai Love. All right, hold on. Don't. I think it's a J in there. Kai, well, yeah, but I think the J sign, you call it Kaja. Cage. 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 I don't know. It's probably initials. But her name is Janice. I remember. You got it. I remember Janice. All right, she says. Janice is a big time thrifter. She thrifts everything. A wood every metal week. thing. So she gets it. Sometimes you just don't know what to call it, and they is the right name. I'm going to wax the bottom too, just because I'm going for it. I'm going extra tonight. I bought this and I'm not selling it and it was 75 cents and I have a ton of wooden spoons, but I like this one because it's wide and flat and it has a really great handle and you can never have too many wooden spoons. All right. Set up that candlestick is vintage pewter dishes. Do we have vintage pewter dishes? I don't I think so. I don't remember any, Caitlin. Maybe they were from last week. All right, there is the fleur de lis. How much did you mark this fleur de lis at? Uh, I want to say six ninety five. Did you say we were going to paint it? Nope. You probably should paint it because it's been repaired. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Well, I guess you don't have to. Six ninety five. You know what? Is I have here. But I don't. What if somebody bought? Do it? some French millinery on there and white wax it. And if they don't want it, we'll refund them and I'll keep it. Kaylin, I don't know what the pewter dishes are. Let's see. I gotta open, I gotta open up my own link. Oh, those are from like a long time ago and they have already been shown. They must just still be in the thrift hall. Or maybe we had two listings of them. Nope. 
They're from like a month ago, that's why. I was like, what the heck? All right. Kaylin says it could be. Kaylin and I are both, it's been a long week. We've had like new thousand, items launched. Thousand things happening. Okay, so hold on, let me get back to this. You don't remember, it's 6.95? I'm just gonna mark in there that it's gonna be painted and then I'll paint it real quick. Okay. So I heard somebody asking for something to not be painted and then we painted it, but it, it said in the listing that it would be painted. And on these thrift calls, when we have a hundred to a thousand people, sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. So all right. seven ninety five, dollars and I don't believe it's sold, so I'll put will be painted and then I can paint it. So this will lighten up and this will lighten up a little bit too as it dries because the wax, I mean, I just put it on there, it's still wet. And the aviary pulls a little darker because it's, it's a darker green for sure. Um, even when you white wax that it. That looks amazing. But you can see, I, I didn't even distress it because I knew some, everything was so fresh. I knew some was gonna come off with the wax. So you can just, I mean, if you guys have been watching from the beginning of the live, you can see the difference between what this was and, and uh, where we went with it just by painting it. You can see that detail now. All right, and I'm gonna go, I'm, oh, this is still damp. Um, okay. You want to show them your mirror from Waste Not Wednesday? Yeah, I'll show them the mirror in a second. Uh, well, I'll show them the mirror and then I'll heat gun that a little more. I was going to distress the edges, but that might have to wait until off camera. So this mirror, we just listed it. It's from Waste Not Wednesday. The other mirror did actually sell before we could list it. It The mirror is uh, frame is solid wood. And remember it had that weird, what was it, a goose or something on it? Yeah, it had geese flying on it geese. over here in the corner etched on there. And it was very, you know, the geese, the etching wasn't bad, but it's not, you know, this is much more updated and fun. I mean, you could put this anywhere, but I think it'd be really cool in an entryway since it has the hooks on there, you know. Check yourself when you're going out for the evening or in the morning and, uh, you know, hang your hats and your, your purse or whatever, your keys. So it's going to get white waxed and it says that in the listing and I do believe it is still for sale. Let me see if Caitlin has dropped the link for that one. Um... Oh, it was last Saturday. I think the Peter stuff though was two Saturdays what I saw. Maybe. Um, can you, the Fleur de Lis, Caitlin, can you drop the link for this Fleur de Lis? It's $7.95. How much did you pay for this Fleur de Lis? Because I didn't buy it. A dollar. A dollar. Holla. I'm going to paint the back too. Les would be so proud of me. Do you want to show them the other mirror while I finish this? Oh, the other one Yeah, complete? it's already sold. Um, it's not quite complete yet. I still have to white wax around the base and clean up a little bit of paint, but as far as the transfer and the finish on the top is done. If you guys watched Waste Not Wednesday, um, we had some junk that was at risk of getting tossed, and so I had well, to get just, it finished. We had so many mirrors, we're like, what are we going to do with all these mirrors? All right, I, I'll try to show you so without all the, the reflections. There's the transfer on the bottom, and I still need to white wax it, and the top is really beautiful. We used French millinery, aviary, and white wax, and it just pairs so well with the lavender. So if you guys buy the Flora Transfer, um, we sell the paint and the transfers at JamieRayVintage.com. Definitely consider aviary and French millinery because they pair really well together. And the mirror that we showed before is still for sale. It's $119.95, and that mirror we sold for $139.95. I like to give you guys price references because I know so many of you guys are also refinishers. All right, can you heat gun that for me, sweetie? Yes. So I wanted to real quickly. Um, All right, you gotta go. Cause I'm gonna show them this lamb book and then we're- Oh shoot. It's like- It's like- kind of It's like out. almost 10 o'clock. I was just like showing <laughs> stuff, not paying attention. It's I'll, okay. I'm not gonna do the edges right now because we're in a hurry and I will paint the edges later. So we find these old tin signs all over the place with like really great sight sayings from 1995 and the early 2000s and we paint over them and then we either stencil them or do transfers but i thought i would do a transfer so words are still cool on decor but more and more it's going to just one word like one saying like gather welcome harvest things like that and even that i mean i feel like this would be cool with some decoupage paper right in the middle just kind of like art well, the thing about this one is the, the font was too small for the size of the piece. So the proportion was off. Proportion is really important. Yeah. All right, can you heat gun that? Yeah, I think this one's almost ready for you. You want to white wax it? Um, yep, I need you to heat gun this and put some big top on it. Where's the white wax? The other thing I like
like about these is a lot of times they'll do like a faux crackle finish on them and they look so good waxed and distressed. Oh, that paint's on there thick. Hey, it's a one and done coat situation. You didn't even get the edges. What? I told you I was going to paint those later. Oh, later. We're just doing the middle? Well, yeah, because I'm going to put some big top and then I'm going to put transfer on it. Oh. Ain't right. nobody got time to paint edges when we're already over an hour. What brand of heat gun? Is that a Wagner? This is a Wagner heat gun. So someone mentioned the other day that heat guns are flat on the back so you can stand them up. It works and, it, and this does stand up flat on the back, but our cord is all twisty from being shipped. I've never stretched it out or whatever. And so it likes to try to twist it and flop it over. So we, we just lay it on its side. I also didn't know that, so I've never tried to lay it flat. Yeah, if you have a heat gun, you know, just let's see if I can get it to do it without just, right. oh, there we go. That is amazing new information for me. So whoever shared that, thank you. All right. So there goes the fleur de lis. What once was broken and glued back together and kind of dingy and old now has lots of detail and is updated. And it looks very pretty with the apothecary. And then didn't you do or front uh, the aviary? Yeah, the aviary. So these two colors pair nicely together. Yep. Okay. Let's big top that. Oh, something's burning. Yeah, I, got, I held it too long in one spot. Careful if you're, you know what, if you're gonna, if you're in a time crunch and you get, or you just don't like to let your paint dry and you want to get your project done, don't hold it in one place too long. You can burn your paint. Did you have a clean brush for this? Thing, um, I think you used it for the French millinery. All right, well, there we go. It's going to be a one dip and done. I blended with whatever color was on there, maybe a little it, bit it of was white. French millinery. All right, now. So the reason why I'm putting Big Top on this, and you should never do what I just did, I just contaminated this, um, but it's mine so I can. Don't do it. The reason why I did that was because you don't want to put a transfer directly over fresh DIY paint because it's very, very porous. I'm getting a little bit of crackle stick. with this heat gun. My question is... I'm not where, sad about the crackle. Where did I put the That's a big comment. Let me look at it. I bought a rose petals and rust. I bought a square cake plate like the one you showed about eight years ago for $19.95. I got it from Sam's Club. If you flip it over, it holds chips and dip. What? I don't know, maybe, but I like I like the thought of that. Where's the cake plate? Hold on, so we already bought it, so I gotta be careful. Oh, it would hold dip in the top and chips on the bottom. Brilliant. Oh yeah! Ta-da! Alright. That's thinking. Okay. And now I want <laughs> chips and dip. I like to eat potato chips with uh, cottage cheese. That's not gonna help. Well, I just don't <laughs> want it to bubble. Here, it needs to cool off is what it needs to do. Yeah, Here. it's done. Here, I'll flap it. Here, answer a couple comments. Ooh, the whole thing's hot. <laughs> And there goes the chair. We gotta get new stools. These ones were defective. I welded them together. They're still defective. Janice burned her carpet with a heat gun. Janice, oh, no. I have burned many a cell phones with my heat gun. Mostly just most the cases. Of, mostly her cases have like marks where the, the heat gun sat on it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think that's probably cool okay. enough. You can get Do a transfer on there. Oh, somewhere. Somewhere. So I'm thinking we'll use these roses. So this is the, what is this one called? Um, that, Not Flora, Painterly Floral. Yeah, that's the new, the new flat pack. All right. So this is left over from the other day. We used it already on a couple of mirrors and now we're on project number three with the same transfer. And we used a lot. I've used almost all of the um, sunflower pages on mine to cover up the those geese. The geese situation. That's like a 1985 situation, not even a 1992. All right, so I'm going to use this one first. I love the flat pack because I never wind up using a whole transfer. Well, I should say not never. I very rarely will. So I'm going to put this one kind of 
that aside. Oh, do we have a the tool? Do we know where that is? That is going to be tricky. Oh, I don't know where the applicator is. Get your spatula out. <laughs> Was it Waste Not Wednesday? Last, this week, you used a spatula on that? I put so much Big Top on this, this is still not dry. I don't know where, they come with a tool, but you have to like not lose it. Oh, back end of a plastic fork, that'll do it. Okay, you know what? I'm nothing if not resourceful. They all, they come with a tool. You don't have to use the back end of a fork. But in a pinch, it works. Okay. So I'm going to start on this one side and build. Some people like to plan their layout ahead of time, which is a desirable quality. <laughs> I like to play it loose and free. I'm actually going to put this over the top of that. I'm going to put the bigger rows. And if I had not sealed this, it wouldn't be as easy to apply. So sealing it and making sure your finish is dry is key. You really should give it a few hours. Otherwise it can be a really large pain in the derriere. Ask me how I know. All right, so I'm gonna go up and over the edges on this. Zach, where'd you go? All of a sudden he's gone. Do you want to know something funny? Couldn't find Jack anywhere tonight. Couldn't find him, couldn't find oh. him, couldn't find him. And we thought, oh my gosh, we're, we're, he's, he's ran away. Where's Jack? Sure enough, no, nope, not ran away. Do you know where he's at? He's sleeping. He went to the jump, uh, the trampoline park. Carrington took him and Mariah's boys and Redrick. And that boy jumped his little heart out. I was like, oh. For a minute there, I was having a major panic attack. Like, he's usually not a wanderer, but you know, you just never know. So if you're decoupaging and you, you've got like a transition, you can always just take your sandpaper and hide that transition and then seal back over the spot where you sanded. And it looks like it's like that on purpose, like just worn. We like to make things look like that. I think I want that that way. So this week I had Tanea work on a piece with a transfer and she's like, how do you want me to do it? I'm like, however, you always do a great job. I trust you. And she's like, I wanted direct directions, but she did a really good job. She didn't need me. Sometimes you just got to get started. That's half the battle. I like to layer them. The nice thing about the bigger transfers is you kind of get started and the transfer releases and you just pull it up and it comes off like that. All right, I'm gonna show you where I'm at thus far with this transfer. All right, so I put the design on here. So it kind of feels like it's backwards, light, right? Like this would be the front of the book. Maybe if I'd have done it like this, it would have been better. But it's, I basically went with, a, I hope whoever got this uses it as a remote holder. Hey, I think somebody said that's what they yeah, use there. Yeah, because you can just flip it open and the, the, most, the most prevalent parts of the sheep are on the front here. I hope they use it as a remote holder. So there's the decoupage, mostly dry. It's still a little damp in a couple spots. Um, but all of our papers that we have are intended to be almost like a whole scene instead of all cut up and chopped up. We might change that up on a few papers coming out in the future, but this, when you open it, so you got the forest back behind, sheep up front. So anyway, and I don't know if you guys wanna see how I did this. It's probably about 20 minutes back in the video, maybe 30 by now. Um, just. Got the whole thing covered in Big Top, put the paper on there, wrapped it around, and then I just took the brush with extra um, Big Top on it and just ripped the edges off as they got saturated. So pretty, pretty simple. I'm taking this design up over the edge here, which makes it look a little bit more organic. I'm gonna put some flower here. Are you just doing like a flower scene? Sure. Absolutely, that's what I'm doing. All right, I'll show you my other projects while she works on hers, and then we'll get you a close-up of Jamie's. Um, one, one last time, I'll show you what a little bit of, I mean, if we're talking ounces, this might have taken like an ounce and a half, two ounces of paint to do this little bread tin. 
Um, I don't even know if that's what it is, but it's, it's shaped like that, so we'll call it that. Um, it was a gross brown color. You couldn't even see the, the pressed tin detail in it before. That's aviary and white wax. And then this is um, aviary on the base, just a little bit darker, and then blended it up into apothecary, uh, distressed that with a uh, damp paper towel and white wax, right? And then the right, white wax came right back off. I'm doing the very like unheard of next level transfer thing. I don't know what you guys are talking about, not too shabby patty, but I also do not love beets. I know, the live chat gets a little crazy on Saturday <laughs> They come here for the junk, but they also come here to, to chat, hang out. Yeah, to hang out. I love it. I'm going to, I, as soon as I'm done with this sunflower, the sunflower is a little detailed so I'm, Do you need some help? No, I'm good. This fork is I'll really go look and see if we can find the actual applicator. So Now that I'm almost so done. So talk to yourself and be funny. Talk to myself while I try to focus on it. Let's see if I can get this ledge over here. Oh, it all came off. We're good. We're good? Yep, I just used my little finger. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to keep layering these in. So it's not going to be like just pink over here and just yellow. I'll add another sunflower here, some more pink, and then it'll be kind of like a upside down wreath situation. And then what I like to do, let me make sure it's all the way attached, is I, oh, it's getting a little distress. Make sure it's attached before you start peeling it off. So it happens when you're like floating the transfer in air. All right, there we go. What I like to do, and that's okay because I'm gonna put like a leaf over that. If you, you ever have it? that happen and you don't have it attached and it starts to come off, just cover up the leaf. I'm gonna distress it because I feel like when you do that, it blends it to your piece and makes it look less like a sticker and more like something that was hand painted. Hold on, I'll show it to you. No cottage yeah. cheese. I love cottage cheese. Oh, That's my favorite. Cheese cheese. I just ran. I'm randomly reading comments in the live chat. <laughs> All right. Here, let me hold that up close. Show them to him now that I just dressed it. Do you need? You know, that? I almost don't even think you need to. I mean, if you distress this edge right, it it kind of works with the piece. Oh, they're talking not about. Jean. Jean says she loves beets. My mom loves pickled beets. Yeah, and she buys them, and then they go bad because she doesn't eat enough of them, and no one else will. So that is what I love to do with these signs and just bring the transfer up over the edges. I'm going to keep layering that in there. And you could just do like a couple more flowers and then put a word in here or whatever. But these are a really great base for mixed media. You guys can hit up jrvhome.com for the thrifted items as well as all of our antique, vintage, home decor, clothing, bath and body, Jamie Ray vintage mercantile situation. The wood, all the wood products. All the, the new wood products, like all the new cutting boards and rolling pins are on there. Um, and then for the DIY supplies, you can hit up jamierayvintage.com. Thanks for joining us this Saturday and every Saturday night for our hauls. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. I'm doing like this little walk to turn the camera off. Catch